Have you ever been sitting at your desk and look at the time and realize you've been sitting in the same position or same spot for four or five hours? Oh man, where did the time go? If you have, you are not alone. I have been there and I realized, wow, this is so unhealthy. I get up and I feel like an old woman, like I just can hardly walk or my bones creak because I sat for so long. Today I wanna to share with you some ways that I stay healthy and fit while working all day at my desk. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of some other ways and hopefully motivations that you can too use when you are working from home or even in the office, but constantly at your computer and feeling like you're not being as healthy as you could or getting enough exercise throughout the day. Okay, the first tip I'm going to say sounds very obvious, but a lot of people forget to do this is have water with you at all times. What I will do is I will have a liter of water sitting at my desk next to me. And that's a constant reminder every time I look at it that, oh, I need to drink water. As well, if I don't have water to begin my day next to my desk, I'll usually get thirsty, but be like, oh, I'm in the middle of something where I'm working and end up not going to grab water. You're lazy. I'm just like, oh, I can wait. And then it never ends up happening. And then it's five o'clock and I haven't drank any water throughout the day. So when you start your day, take time, fill up a liter of water to start your day. And then once that liter is done, go fill it up again and continue the process for however many liters you're trying to drink. I usually try to drink between two and three liters a day. Have water with you at all times. Stay hydrated is probably the most important thing to help with headaches, eye blur, uh, sore back. It just, water is the cure for everything. Drink more water. So have water with you. Next up is get up every hour. Stand up, stretch, move around. On the hour is what I'll do. So if I start work at say 9 a.m., 10, 11, 12, etc. I will get up and just kind of walk around even if I'm in the middle of something just taking four three minutes to just kind of do a lap around my house or go on my balcony and breathe in fresh air. We can stay or we can leave. There is no so essential don't let yourself just kind of get in the zone and not be able to get up sometimes even having an alarm if this is if you're really bad at this is a great way to uh to remind yourself so you can use different apps that on the hour will remind you that you need to go for a walk or you need to kind of walk around the house that brings me to my next point which is if possible go for walks outside well, yes, it's important just to stand up every hour and get a little stretch of your legs. What I like to do is I'll go for a walk before I start work, go for a walk on my lunch break, and then I will go for a walk after I'm done work. And these aren't like hour walks each, but even going for 15 or 20 minute walks before work, on your lunch break, and then after work, I find it's a great way to really boost my mood by just being outdoors and also stretch my legs and get some sunshine rather than just being like in this dark, work cave all day. This is a cave. It's my cave. Okay, the next one is something that I kind of made up or Paul, my boyfriend made up a challenge for me, which is what I will do is 100 squats a day. So if you want to join this challenge with me, I highly suggest it or not because it's kind of painful. Great workout, Sarge. But if you do, let me know. And what I will do is I have to do 100 squats a day because I'm working from home right now. It's not as weird as if I'm in the office and being like, one second, I gotta do my squats. But because I'm working from home and if you're able to work from home or if you're just like really close with your coworkers and you can squat, whatever, I'll do 100 squats throughout the day. So I'll start by doing 10 in the morning, 10 before lunch, 10 at lunch, and just kind of break it down into 10 increments or I'll do 20 increments sometimes, like um, increments of 20. And it goes by really fast. It's a really easy thing to do. I write it down so I don't forget. I also have Paul um, hold me accountable. End of the day, he will ask, how many squats did you do today? Did you reach your goal? And I'm like, yeah, I did or no, I didn't. And it's a great way to kind of just get some exercise in throughout the day. So also too, if you have someone that can hold you accountable, definitely let them know you're doing the 100 squat challenge or whatever, if you're gonna do push-ups or whatever it is, because it's a great way to have someone hold you accountable. Also, what I will sometimes do is some push-ups on the desk. I don't have a standing desk, but if you have a standing desk, this is another great way, obviously, to keep healthy throughout the day by taking breaks of sitting and doing some standing as well. Um, I, If you have any recommendations of standing desks, let me know. I already have my desk desk from Restoration Hardware, which I love, but if you have any suggestions of things you can put on top of the desk um, to make it a standing desk, let me know because I'm always interested or, and I'm sure lots of other people will be too. 
But if you don't have a standing desk, something I will do is other than just getting up and going for walks. So I'll use my desk actually and do push-ups on it. And I'll do like, I don't know, 10 push, I don't do it every day, but I'll do oftentimes just to like move my arms and get some, some motion. In. Those are some of my ways that I stay healthy throughout the day. There is no secret formula or magic hack. At the end of the day, just be consistent, stick to it, set reminders to help with that. And you'll be healthy while working. Thanks all for watching my video. Comment down below some of your tips or hacks you have, and I will see you all soon.